This is the 2019 Math Kangaroo Levels 11-12 Problem Number 28. The sequence A1, A2, A3, and so on starts with A1 is equal to 49. For n is greater than or equal to 1, the number An plus 1 is obtained by adding 1 to the sum of the digits of An and then squaring the result. Thus, A2 is equal to the quantity of 4 plus 9 plus 1 squared, which is 196. Determine A2019. A121, B25, C64, D400, or E49. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test. And here is where we'll be doing the solution. To start, when we're given a problem with a sequence, it's normally a good idea to determine some of the numbers in the sequence to see if we can find any patterns. So let's start with what we're given. We know that A1 is equal to 49. And we know this rule that for n is greater than or equal to 1, the number an plus 1 is obtained by adding 1 to the sum of the digits an and then squaring the result. So using that rule, we know that A2 must be equal to 196. Now, we're going to, again, use the rule, the restriction they give us, and then we're going to find A3 by adding the digits of A2, so 1 plus 9 plus 6, and then adding a 1, as stated in the problem, and then squaring that quantity. This is equal to 17 squared, which is equal to 289. Now we're going to continue doing this. A4 is going to be the sum of the digits of A3, so 2 plus 8 plus 9, and then add a 1, square it, which is 20 squared, and that is equal to 400. Same with A5. A5 must be 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 squared, which is equal to 5 squared, and that's 25. Now, a6 must be, again, the digits of this added, 2 plus 5, and then plus the 1, squaring that, 8 squared, which is 64. A7 is 6 plus 4 plus 1 squared, which is 11 squared. It's 121. Now let's look at A8. This is 1 plus 2 plus 1, and again, we have to add a 1 squared which is 5 squared, 25. Here we notice something interesting. We already got 25, and when we get 25, the next number must be 64, and then we get 121, and then we got 25 again, so this must be repeating, but let's see that this is true. A9 is 2 plus 5 plus 1 squared, of course 8 squared, which is again 64, and then if we continued this, we would know that a10 would be 121, and then this pattern would continue. So to summarize, let's write down the numbers of the sequence we've determined so far. We got 49, 196, 289, 400, and then we got 25, 64, 121, 25, 64, 121. As you can see, this block of three numbers is going to continue on forever. So let's remind ourselves what it is we're looking for. We're looking for A2019. We can find what A2019 is by taking 2019 and subtracting 4. Because keep in mind, these four numbers don't follow our pattern. Then we'll get 2015. Using this number, we need to divide it by 3 and figure out what its remainder is. Why is figuring out the remainder so important? Because it can determine which of the numbers 25, 64, or 121 it is. If there's a remainder 1, then the number must be 25, because it's the first number in that block. If there's a remainder 2, the number is 64. If there's a remainder 0, so it divides evenly, the number must be 121. Okay, so back to our number, two, sorry, 2015 divided by 3 gives us a remainder of 2. Again, this must mean that our number is 64. This is answer choice C.
Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.